Hi everybody and welcome to my third match of the Dominion League this season in which we are playing against Warfred. And let's see what we've got here on this first board. So Sauna is crashing and we've got a Baker token which means we can open Sauna Silver if we want to without taking a curse. Maybe maybe we could maybe we could take the curse open silver puka and hope for like a ball for two saunas or minstrel sauna. I think I like that more than just the vanilla sauna silver opening because uh, if you don't pair them up, it's really sad. Yeah. Let's, let's go for, let's go for this. And he also does that. Um, and he's getting the, the ball for, the saunas as well. Oh, he goes for sauna devil's workshop. Hmm. So um so what do we wanna buy here? Like if we draw the Puka next turn we are gonna trigger a shuffle which will not have the silver in it. We could could take a devil's workshop, we could also take a minstrel um to get back to our Puka faster. If we don't draw the minstrel that is. Let's try that. We did not draw the Puka or the Silver, but that's alright. We can now ball for like Minstrel Sauna, Sauna Devil's Workshop. Um, let's Let's ball for Minstrel Sauna. Oh, we did draw the Sauna. That's really nice. Um, his Puka also missed the Shuffle. Um, so I guess we're on even footing there. Gains an Imp. And here... We can ball for Sauna Devil's Workshop. So here we are just gonna pass, I think. We don't want to take a curse for oh, silver, essentially. Or could have been right, but we didn't want to take a curse for that. Um, this is a, this looks like a real nice turn for him. Let's see, well, if he's got his Puka in hand here, it's gonna trigger a, not the greatest shuffle, like this next hand. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's only one hand to, that he needs to pass, right? So the buy here is console room. Um, which we're gonna get later, I guess. We 
the top deck a sauna here. Mm. So what should this be? Do we want to ball again? Or like sauna minstrel? Or could be sauna silver? Um, which could lead to a nice trashing turn. We do open up Avantos for him, but I don't think that's a huge concern because there's plenty of other ways to draw and get village effect and all that stuff. So, well, this is not encouraging no nope. that was sad there's minstrel and puka on top right so at least next turn is gonna be good <clears throat> yeah that was really sad well nothing you can do So at some point we want to add a council room for the buy. He's he seems to be really nicely trashed now, so we've got to catch up in that regard. Um, else it's gonna be tough for us. He adds his buy now, okay. Uh, let's hope we can actually draw a silver here, um, a copper I mean, to, to trash. Okay, we should be able to, I hope, with this horse. Nope. No, no, no. Well, I guess we're gonna trash the silver anyway and Hope that we can draw the other one. Oh, at least we got that. And so are we gonna add a council room as well here? Play the cursed gold. Which would result in us getting an imp, uh, which I think is fine. Um, at this point, we are firmly behind, I believe. Let's see what we can do. Um, this turn is looking, unless we're really lucky here, it's looking to be another dud. Depending on what the minstrel draws us. Gets rid of his puka here. Well, doesn't need it anymore, right? We need this turn to be good to have any chances of staying in this, I believe. Oh, 
let's see what he does. Payload is money basically. I wonder maybe there's a chance to he goes for provinces to go into like a duchy duke thing and try to catch up that way but um bias getting bias is also a pain well there's an imp there's our council room nice okay so here we will be getting clean which is good news well, not entirely clean, but we get rid of this chunk. Um, and we're gonna buy gold, silver as well. Get an imp. This is a nice starting hand. So soon the cursed gold will be a real gold without giving us the curse, that's nice. Um, I mean, I guess he had nine bucks last turn, as did we. Uh, we have more coppers. Which is not great, but uh, economy generation wise, he's not too far ahead. He's got a slimmer deck, but maybe we can work with that. So, you gonna buy two golds here or like gold council room, maybe? Maybe gonna have like an unfortunate dot um, which will let us come back there's some stop cards in there so it could be worse I guess it could be worse yeah gets another council room and balls for two silvers Oh, okay, nice. That adds a bit more economy than a gold. All right. So we are able to draw through here. How much money do we have? This is. Um, this is 13. All right, so How's this gonna go? He had 12 last turn, he added two silvers. He's got the, the minus coin from ball, which means he's got 15 now and he could like triple duchy if he wants to do the, the duchy duke thing. Mm. We could try to follow him on that, but he's first player, so he's gonna get like five duchies to our three, probably. Um, but 
but what else can we do? We can't like empty provinces all by, our, by ourselves fast enough. So what did we say? This is 13. We might wanna be able to spend we want to be able to spend 15. We could also do the ball for silvers thing, which adds a bit more economy. Um, and I guess we keep the the coppers for our puka. Could also do council room gold. Then we'll have 16. We're a bit, it's one less stop card, right? Um, I mean, if he goes triple dutchy now, we'll have to do the same and Probably he's just gonna get the last two duchies then, and we are not in a good spot. But don't really see an alternative for us, like going for provinces isn't gonna work. Is he gonna trash his devil's workshop now? think we might do that as well because we don't have too many targets for the imps. Still undecided about this Devil's Workshop, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so nobody took it Avantos, which makes sense because at that point we wanted to buy council rooms to get a buy. Oh, he balls. That's interesting. Building bigger, okay. Oh. Well, I guess we're just gonna take three duchies now. We have nine, we have exactly 15. I'm gonna trash this devil's workshop. Uh, 
His council rooms are also gonna help us not that hopefully. Now if he, I don't know if he has the money for that, but if he takes four duchies here, we can't even do that, right? Because then we have a bin on duchy, minstrels and an estate. So curious, um, curious about this building further that he did here, but maybe he has something else in mind than, than duchies. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. And that's why he built that way. It doesn't. It doesn't have enough for for duchies. Well, still we've got fifteen, right? So if he takes only three duchies now, we can double duchy and all for minstrels. Uh, is there some win I'm missing? <clears throat> Can't be right. Going for provinces. Interesting. Of course, you might just dot here. This is all right, but we need to find a one of our two minstrels. This is all his money, right? And that's exactly 20, but uh, he's got a ball token, so he will only have 19 next turn. Uh, unless he adds more money here. Like draw wise, you should be able to draw through here. Last turn we had like eight overdraw, but we need to find the, the right stuff. Oh, nice! There's the minstrel. Okay. Oh, and we can't use our puka draw if we want to hit 15. So not that easy. But we made it. So do we want to get rid of the Puka here? Maybe, maybe not. Because we just triple Dachi here. 
and then next turn we only uh, we only need to hit 10 for the double duchy if we if we If we triple Dachi here, does he have a win? That's the question. We'll be up to 18. Then he could buy two Dachis. That's 12. And a province. That's 18. And an estate. How much money is that? That's 20. And he just added a silver. So he had 19, well he had exactly 20, but minus the the ball it's 19, but with the silver it's 21. So he could actually beat that. So alternative, maybe we buy two duchies and a duke. That will be two more points then we'll be at 20 and that will be harder for him to beat in which case we want to trash the puka i guess because we want to be able to hit 15 again. Yeah, so let's go with that. Two duchies and a duke. And then we hope to be able to finish next turn on duchies. Get rid of the puka. And let's hope his uh, council rooms draw something nice for us, namely a minstrel. We need to find our minstrels. Yeah, there's 21, so that would have... That would have beat... Oh, well, this is another possibility. Okay, just ball the islands. Well, I don't think we could have um, protected against that. All right. So, um, well, turned out closer than expected after how the early game went. Um, this will be our start. We have Way of the Mule here. We have a Money Lender. We also got Path of Carry. Hmm. Well, I, I do think we want to trash Coppers, right? So. Let's get the money lender. Uh, try to get an old witch. Goes for the money lender as well. Um, oh, that, that was the surprise money lender auto play. It's gonna click that copper. Um, old witch, right? And here another silver. Um, Lost City, yeah, need actions, uh, gonna hit 5 again, uh, 
Uh, is he gonna buy an? Didn't buy a lost city here. A haggler. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I see it goes well with Way of the Mule, right? You can play it non-terminally. That's pretty cool. Um, think I want a second old witch first, though. Try to deal out those curses. Goes for a city. Interesting. Um. Another lost city and then a haggler or haggler now. Uh, we want some more consistency in our draw and lost cities and old witches are gonna do that. Here a haggler for us. Yeah he's doing the he's doing the, the haggler trick. That's cool. Here we are hopefully gonna get to trash a curse. Yep. That's good. It's going for the, the city caravan. Um Hmm. So there's two old witches and a haggler down there. Maybe we want to get Piazza here. There's a good chance it's gonna hit something. I mean, um, curses are gonna empty soon, so the cities make sense. Um, also, they don't draw your opponent something. Let's get Piazza here. Hope it can. Oh, but maybe it's gonna hit the Haggler, it's 50-50, right? Yep, nice. Uh, so, I guess we're not gonna trigger here, because then these old witches miss the shuffle. And the Haggler as well, and what the stuff we buy, so... Just gonna do it like this. Get City Caravan. Um, nothing here. So, this is working nicely what he's doing. Um, preferring cities over lost cities, I guess. Um, do we piazza first? I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. Well, at least now we know what we have. Okay, this is good. We get to the end of our shuffle. Get to trash. And we can do city caravan. Hmm. Maybe we will actually do province city. Gonna be some uh, right. We wanna have some like there's no. Oh well, wait a minute! It could also be Hagler something. Eh. The thing is, there's no 
way for us to mid-turn activate cities. Uh, which is gonna make it awkward to get the buy of the cities. The thing about provinces, there's also fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. Let's get province city. Maybe he will activate our city here. Nope. He goes for the second tackler. Okay. Uh, we play that guy, and that's it for our turn. Oh, I guess just a caravan and a silver. Here we get to trash another curse. So with two hagglers he has more pile control to make these run, but he can only do it at the end of his turn, which means he will be giving us a buy by making a third pile run. We just want to maintain our VP lead. Okay, fairgrounds are four for him right now. How many? Uniques does he have? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Oh. Don't know if it will be easy for him to bump them up. In any case, can just buy one green card per turn. Maybe we, now we get to trash a curse again. Count again, he's got one, two, three, he's got twelve, twelve right now, and stuff he could get from Hagglers is Mystic Potion Gold, I guess. So he can bump them up to to six VP. The fairgrounds. So we miss here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, So 
So what should this be? Could be Dutchy Caravan. Could be Haglock Caravan, but I want to score. Uh, well, I guess we need him to miss as well, don't we? Let's go like, like this. Do we have any curses left? We do, right? We just drew a curse. I think that's our last curse that we have. We've got I think we have two more curses. We have two provinces, three estates, and a duchy that should be 18 points, but we have 16. He's drawing through here. Also, he has all these caravans out, which makes missing kind of hard for him. Um, I guess he can probably set it up so that he can get a win next turn by bumping up his fairgrounds. Uh, or maybe not next turn, but the turn after. Um, there's stuff down there, right? So, what do we gain of this? Province and a Hagler, I think. Just so that if, if he gains like one caravan, otherwise he can set it up so he has a pile out, right? By lowering caravans to one and then buying like a fairground for the win. This is a good starting hand. Oh, he did it. Wow. Three caravans. All right, that's good news for us. What's down there? A haggler and no, well, well, an old witch, but don't know, don't want to leave these terminals there. Huh, so now we just buy province double lost city, right? What can he do? Even if he bumps up his fairgrounds now, he missed a turn. And we, ju we just want to make it so we don't dud.
All right, we really needed, we really needed his dart. Now it's looking better, right? Because oh, how's he gonna catch up? Now he needs us to dart, and might happen on this hand, for example. It's not the worst starting hand, but we need to draw stuff to continue. Hope our piazza can hit or something like that. So I guess the the duchy buy earlier didn't really do anything because we needed him to miss anyway. So that should have been something else, I guess. Could have been our second haggler already, for example. Oh, mystics are also kind of okay here. A piazza, right? If your piazza misses and you have a mystic, at least you can get that stuff from the, the top of your deck. So let's see what he chooses to do here. Maybe he's gonna activate cities and hope that we dart. Because he needs he needs us to dart anyway, right? In which case you might as well activate cities another level. Oh, well, maybe that would. Don't know, but that would. That might give us just the bucks we need. Um, so maybe you don't do that. No, he 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 does do it. Okay, so we just need to not dart here, which is probably easier said than done. Okay, this is looking all right. Uh. Uh, is this enough already? Hagler, Mule, and you're done. Okay, nice. So we did get it in the end. Got the, the dot we needed. This is looking like something. This is quite something. Replace fortress. Got the king's court, treasure, cities, all that good stuff. We're gonna open race militia, I guess. Yep, that's what he's doing as well. And um, this is not ideal, but fine. I mm, think we trashed that race, right? Just for the for the cycling, we can rebuy re one. And we buy a replace. Also, we get to militia him first, which is good. Yeah, definitely replace. We wanna replace estates into fortresses. Yeah, so he, he missed five here because of our militia, which is great for us. There's also tunnel. Um, um, so there is an estate which we are gonna trash. 
Ray's also a nice fortress to find the stuff you need. <clears throat> Which I guess might just raise the fortress here and try to find the replace. Keep this estate. No, in that case we're gonna take the militia. No. Might have been a bit greedy to take uh, to keep the estate there. Okay, let's get rid of a copper here and top deck a fortress. Cities are already activated, right? Yeah, he takes one. We really want to get to King's Court. Uh, well, let's get rid of the estate. Um, I guess we're gonna take a moat here. It's fine. Might even pre prevent the militia from hitting us. Our replace is on top of the deck. Do we didn't take the militia here, so we're probably also didn't take the city. Huh. Well, I guess it revealed city and replace. Um, so should this be maybe pilgrimage or maybe a smithy? We wanna draw. Okay, this is nice. Um, what do we take here? Could be fortress, replace. And to city and draw on. Could be smithy, but then we are not guaranteed to, to get through at all. There's a copper in there, right? Which might... Yeah. Which gets us to King's Court. I think there is a race on top. Isn't there? We wanna leave that on top? I'm not sure. Now let's play this, this smithy. Oh, it wasn't a race, so... Good that we drew there and getting the king's card here is really good. He gets another replace. Uh, let's take the race here. And Smithy here. Which we don't get to King. 
I get to King the. Well, so we could take a gamble here and try to King the replace, but let's King the city and we can just fortress into replaces that way. Well, actually, let's top deck a city. So we don't dud. Hmm. Uh, could also have been a treasurer to trash one of these coppers. Hmm. And then we draw it up. Ah, oh, I like I like having the city on top more, I think. <clears throat> we can hopefully gain and play a treasure maybe this turn. So having two king's courts to zero is good. But he's gonna gonna get one here, I believe. No. Oh. Uh, let's get the king's cord. Dig for the king king here, there it is. And we start out by king the mode. Now we can king the replace, that's good. I guess just King into two replaces and a city. And with the. And we're looking to top deck a. Top deck a city again by a king's cord. Oh. We're gonna be king in king in the city, right? So um could be three replaces even. Nah, we don't need that many, do we? We just king. So, trash into a replace. Into a replace. Could for our next turn, well, maybe we can do three replaces because then we can top deck two cities and a mode for the next turn, and that should be good, should be sufficient to set it up so that we can win. I don't think we leaving a, leave him a pile out, do we? He doesn't have a king's court yet, so. Can we win now? 
No, we can't, right? We can empty replaces, but we can't empty another pile. Um, so we just set up so that we can win. Like he's got two replaces, but can't kingdom. There's no no way he's gonna, gonna pile out, is there? Thing is now we have all these replaces in our deck and we need to find our king's cards. Gets a treasurer, okay. Getting rid of some coppers. And he's gonna get a king's card now, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can find our king's courts. There is one. Uh, let's play the city first. Uh, we can replace into one city here. Want to draw it with the moat? Okay, there's another moat. Where's the king? King. There it is. All right. Let's start by drawing. Uh, do we want to? We want to. No, no, no. Let's start by replacing. Yeah, that was the win for us. All right. Um, just a snowbally king's court stuff we got there earlier. Oh, this is also like you wanna open five two here, basically. Um, what you don't get to do. Um, guess we're gonna arms for two wishing wells. They can be a silver if needed. The way of the sheep. Easy board, just open 5-2. What's it with these cities? We're, it's like we're playing a city cage match. Okay, he also had the 3-4, fortunately. Just more wishing wells. Let's hope we don't sombrero. Oh. So we know what's on top. Our first five is gonna be recruiter, as is his. Um, there is a cup on top right. We are gonna draw recruiter. Which we see right away. That's really good. Again, there is no buy, but cities. Well, there is, I guess you can, <laughs> you could work around it by gaining silvers of Wayfarer and upgrading if there was a forecast to upgrade into, which there is not. Um, 
here we know the top of our deck again. It's gonna be copper or estate. Do we want a ghost ship? I mean, wishing well kinda defense against it. Maybe we wanna do wild hunts. It's a way to make wayfarers cheap. Wayfarers are of course nice nice for recruiter um to to gain food. Goes for an upgrade, okay. Hey top card is estate. Uh let's try to find the recruiter. Down there is Two coppers in a state, a wishing well and a recruiter. Mm. No four coppers. So there's three coppers left, right? Okay, here we wish for recruiter. Didn't find it. That's all right. Um. Do we want a second recruiter? Upgrade? Upgrade I don't like so much. Oh, well, you, you can get rid of your coppers, but that's about it. And a sentry could do that too. Hmm. Maybe we add a sentry. Just to clear out these coppers. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. And we want to add a wayfarer at some point and then just wild hunts, I guess. Arm, arms is for a wishing well, okay. So we've got a number of coppers left that we are gonna wish for. Um, two coppers left, two estates. Sentry, two wishing wells. Oh, let's wish for a wishing well, I guess. Or copper. We want to find an estate for the recruiter here, although it doesn't matter that much. Just want to get through. Oh, that was the wishing well. Okay. Well, we do find an estate anyway. So that's fine. Two coppers. Sentry wishing well. There's a copper. So we're gonna buy a really expensive wayfarer here. Let's play the sentry first. Might set up our, our if it whiffs, it might at, well, if it totally whiffs, it at least sets up our wishing wells. Do we wanna go into wild hands? He does, so we're doing it as well. Okay, we get one copper here. So still lots of coppers left. Mm. 
let's play it as Wayfarer. Gain. We want to gain a silver. Don't need it yet, right? So, no. Okay, so the difference between our decks is basically he's got an upgrade, we've got a sentry, and we've got a wayfarer that he doesn't have yet, and that I like because it can gain us silvers to feed to recruiter and also to have some economy once we get rid of these coppers. And now he gets a wayfarer as well. Okay. Wish for copper. Um. Well, let's wild hunt first now. There's like copper down there, right? Could just leave that recruiter there by a wild hand. All right. At some point in the future, villagers will become an issue because this wayfarer for silver and recruiting silver stuff basically it only nets us one villager, but we have other food to trash. Like we don't necessarily need these wishing wells. We don't need the sentry anymore at one um, at some point. It's a state already, okay. Interesting. Or maybe to get a cheap Wayfarer. But he also gained a silver, so. Okay. Um, now we need a silver, right? We also need to get rid of a copper. Oh, we, we don't need to, we could get rid of a wishing well, but And don't even play this wild hunt, do we? But we could also take the estate and trash it. Uh, it's better than... It leaves us with a villager as well and better than leaving the point out for him, isn't it? Leaves us with two villagers even. This is not too amazing. <laughs> I mean there's villages on the board so we don't have to rely on feeding the recruiter. We can just add villages.
It's just so sad that there's no forecast on this board. We could do, do so much more with the upgrade otherwise. And get all these nice five cost cards. So I wonder what his plan is. Maybe he just wants to province. Huh. I guess we're gonna buy a city now. Because at this rate, um, estates will soon be gone, right? And then we have a buy. Yeah, he he goes for the for the city too. So that's one more copper down the drain. Um, let's draw first. Okay, we need to regain a silver with our wayfarer now. But we don't need to, we can also weigh off the sheep something. No, no, no. We have the silver, so all fine. Um, what do we want to trash? Is the question. Probably a wishing well, right? We don't have to we don't have to take these points, do we? Maybe we just gain a silver and buy a city. Uh if we do if we do take the estate we can mid turn activate our cities if we draw uh, if we play all the wild hunts for points which Maybe that's a bit ambitious. Oh, we can draw through, can't we? Um, so let's trash a wishing well. Take points. Well, if he takes points again. Which I assume he will. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Let's. Let's not, not do something stupid. Don't like putting the the estate in our deck at the point. gonna take the VP here, but that's fine, right? Hmm. 
Maybe it isn't. I mean, it's 2 VP. Not like that's the world. Again, our decks look pretty similar at this point. We want to make it so that we can mid-turn activate the cities and have the buys first. That's the advantage that we can take right from this. Let's gain a silver here. I think we can get rid of the sentry now. Gives us A nice chunk of villagers which we also want to be able to mid-turn activate cities So assuming he he takes an estate here, we want to play like one wild hunt for draw and then the other two four points before we play our cities, which don't not sure if we can manage, but we'll try. And then we can buy cheap Bayfarers. Goes for a province, okay. Let's wish for copper. Oh, recruiter there is fine. Wayfarer also nice to have there. Alright. This should, well, what's down there? There's one wishing well at least down there, right? So we're guaranteed to do this activation thing. Yep. Um, so this could be Wayfarer province, um, which I think sounds good, doesn't it? He's got three buys, as do we. We had 11 bucks here. If we play both Wayfarers, we 
we'll have 15. You want to get to double, right? We can also do like province nobles. We won't get to double this turn. We can only add for four dollars. Oh no, that's not true. We can way off the sheep stuff. So might actually get to double here. Oh, that's the nice thing about upgrade, right? You can now turn this wild hunt into a gold to add more economy to his deck. How much did he have last turn? Eight. Let's see if he can double here. If he, if he can, that's a problem for us, isn't it? Because if we then also double, he can just double to close out the game. But maybe we have other options available. First we need to draw here, which is not guaranteed. But not too unlikely as well. There shouldn't be too many stop cards left in our deck. Oh yeah, he gets a double. That's a problem for us. Ooh, province and two cities. Interesting. We'll have to think about that. Okay, nice. We draw here. City. Oh, recruit the estate, right? So what's this thing about two cities? He had 18, so he has 20 now. Which means he will pile the cities if we don't score. Um, actually, yeah, 20. 20, right? And maybe he can turn something into a gold. The upgrade. Yeah, he might be able to get up to triple province, right? might be able to do that. Um, so, what do we do? If we do like province and like two nobles maybe, that's 20, that's a lot of money. If he triples next turn, he will be at 33. If we do province, let's say we can do that province to nobles, that's 10. We will be at 22. He will be at 33, which we can then beat by province to duchies. So that sounds all right. And how do we best achieve that? Can we even make 20? There's a, so right now we have 10, 13. We can play this Wayfarer, gain another silver. Um, this is 13 still. 
we recruit the wild hunt and play it's because we want to have some villagers at the start of our next turn Now we've got 17, we need to sheep two wishing wells. Um, right, so. Oh no, I, mis I miscounted, we need to sheep all of them, right? This is 14, 17, 19, 21. And we do province to nobles. Okay, this is a, an excellent starting hand. So if he triples now, we can beat that red. Um, province double duchy to be doable for us. If he does not triple, then we can just triple. Maybe he can do triple province plus duchy, but it's really expensive. $29 would be really surprised if he can make that. Well, he's got two wayfarers to add economy. But anyway, if he can do that, I don't think there's a way for us to play around that. Oh, yep. He can probably do province. Well, oh, who knows? Province for cities is also a lot. It's 28. And no, he didn't. He didn't add a gold. But if he now triples, he can't beat that anymore. Oh, uh, so the upgrade did turn out to be nice in in this late game now. Um, to turn stuff into other stuff. Well, if you can now triple, we need to play for the dot. and. By now he should have a lot of stop cards, so he can dot, but so can we. Oh, 28 even, okay. GG, nicely done. Yeah, put us, put us in, a, in a tough spot there. It's gonna be right back. I'm gonna be right back as well.
Okay, I'm back. He's also back. And we're gonna go into game 5. He played that nicely and put us in a tough spot. Mm. So, man, a city. What's it? Like, 4 out of 5 game? No. Is it 4 out of 5? Don't even remember what the first one was, but the last 3 definitely. So, what have we got here? Here we have a buy in way of the monkey. We have vineyards. We also have King's Court and all that nice stuff. So, what are we gonna open? Could be silver, silver, could be silver, lighthouse. It's just silver, silver has the, the best chance of hitting double five, I believe. Uh, which here we miss, but that's all right so far. Guess we're gonna take a village green already. You wanna add a sentry and then a journeyman. And both play well with it. Oh, no five for us. That's bad. That's really bad. <clears throat> Lighthouse, another village green. Oh. Get another one of these. This is another four. I mean, are we just gonna keep buying village greens or what? Lighthouse isn't too exciting. Silver is not. Hmm. It's just sad. Like here, a lighthouse would be better, right? Because we're we would be guaranteed five. But oh well. Let's hope to not draw the estate. Um, which of course did not work out as we intended. So let's take this for our next turn. And this has been <laughs> the the saddest just the saddest uh, first and second shuffle in a long time. I mean, maybe it's wrong to buy all these village greens, but we really want to add more silvers. Um, we can add a king's card now, which doesn't do anything. Thing is, this is not gonna hit five. What's down there? Um, sentry, journeyman. You wanna trash at some point. for a governor. <laughs> it's 
so B can find the sentry here. Or governors. Surprised he didn't get King's Courts, a King's Court yet. Oh nice, there's the sentry. That's something at least. And we want a second one, right? Because of Wolf then, anyway. And here we can get a King's Court. And let's take this next turn. And I guess we want to get a governor too for um, extra gains. Well, maybe not. We have way of the monkey, right? Maybe we want to add journeyman. Um, I stayed into silver. Um, it's gonna trash again. Oh, just drawing. He's nicely trashed now. Hmm. Not even that good, I think. Did his sentries just miss or... I mean, he also got his first sentry turn two and then... I guess it missed. Because it feels like we should be way more behind than it seems at this point. Um, do we draw on here, or maybe just we don't want to draw the king's court dead? Maybe just monkey this and buy a king's court. Uh, it would have been nice to pair the king's court with our sentry. Oh, yeah. that was a really friendly governor draw. Of course, he's got three governors to our zero, and maybe he just piles provinces real soon, and we can't do anything about it. He's also got a king's court now, so we are certainly behind. And let's trash this into a silver. So we might be able to do some discard stuff with the village greens here. Let's trash that copper. We really need governors now. Man, he's certainly far ahead. This is just gonna snowball out of control now. This is nice. Um, let's play it. Um, we 
have um, so we discard one of these and play this sentry okay let's discard that and use it for do we want to leave the king's court on top i think we do here we can monkey these two lighthouses and then we have 13 well maybe if we use it now we'll have 15 yeah so let's do that if we monkey the lighthouses it also doesn't stay out oh well we can't draw it, can we? Because the village green resolves before this. Okay. It's down there. Copper or silver. Uh, Let's take it for um, next turn to have a better chance of our King's Court finding something useful. Oh, he does. That is good news for us. Um, I think we king the village green here. Okay, sentry. Uh, trying to find the other king's cord. All right, there it is. What's on top? Do we want to draw once more? I feel, well, there's a sentry there. And should be a copper and a silver there. Do we have four village greens? No, we've got three, so there's not a village green. I feel like we need to draw once. Maybe remodel twice into two governors. A journeyman might be nice as well for some draw. I'm not quite sure. Uh, mm. Let's get to journeyman for a draw. Um, what's in the discard? Did we discard something with that? A lighthouse. So we can top deck journeyman, right? Is that worth it? Uh, there's also junk on top, so... 
Well, we top decked it with two bad cards. We top decked two journeymen, so it's fine. Um, should this be another king's card? How's this gonna go? Is he just gonna go provinces now? I mean, this should definitely be another king's court, right? And do we want a silver as well? Probably not. Ooh, really fortunate to find king king here. Really fortunate. Oh, he, he was gonna draw something for us too, but... Triple... Triple kings even. So let's see how many is he gonna go for provinces now. Let's see how many he can get. We're gonna trash this village green into a governor. Depending on what he does here, we might have a finish, if he's not careful. Um, yep, more, more governors. One more of these. Well, maybe he just has a finish right now, right? He's doing... Adding more king's cards to the loop. We'll have to see. Good, good thing for us is that he also needs um, the governors for draw, which helps us. Which helps us too, and means he can't use them all for remodeling. Got so many silvers in this discard. If we don't have to gain all those provinces by remodeling, we can also just monkey and gain some. You're gonna. We're gonna definitely name Village Green here to to get them in play, and then also it's like the Journeyman draws more. Yeah, I mean he's gotta be careful, right? Um, he's gotta set it up so he doesn't leave us something. Um, Maybe I'm overestimating what we can do, but I feel like we can go, can do a lot starting from this hand. He 
he he's got no governors left no governors left because we have played four and we have three let's see what we can do maybe we can empty like governors king's courts and lighthouses or if he buys provinces maybe we can just empty provinces because he also gave us lots of money Hmm. He sure has a lot of buys. Like, is that enough for... I don't know how much money he has, but it should be lots. Is that enough for governors, village greens, lighthouses? Uh, if he's using them for next turn, I doubt it. Wouldn't do that otherwise, would he? That's 15. Um, yeah, that was too much, right? I couldn't empty those. I was a bit scared there. Huh. Buying King's Court. Sure feels like we should be able to do something here. King's Court and two provinces maybe. Then we'll have to empty six. Which should be doable. We need to get the golds first, but should be all right. Okay, not even going for the provinces. So maybe we just empty governors, village greens, and lighthouses or something. Okay, I think we've got a good shot here. We have to play it right though, and there's lots of silvers in our discard. So we start by King King, Journeyman, name Village Green, name Village Green, we play both. And what do we name here? I mean, these are, there's lots of silvers there. Um, we don't have any village greens left. Um, don't think it matters what we name. There's also no coppers left, I think. All right. So three silvers left. We got a governor. So, what's the easiest way to end this? We can, I mean, we can remodel into, we can remodel into kings, two kings courts and a governor and just continue looping right is there an even easier finish like how much is um king's courts governors and lighthouses oh let's say governors 
Village Greens Lighthouse is that's 13, um, that's 15 plus 12, that's 27, 35. And if we've got four King's Court plays left, that makes 12 money and 12 buys. And we have uh, that's not gonna get there. So let, let's let's do this. Sentry into King's Court. This should be easy, right? We empty king's courts, we empty governors, which we can all do by remodeling, and then we just buy lighthouses and a province maybe if we need it. There's three more silvers on top. And maybe he can gain some points by um, remodeling. Does he have what uniques does? He has a bandit that's, I think, his only unique. Or maybe he has a king's court in hand that he can remodel to a province. But we should get around all of that. Um. Now we king this. We start by doing governor again. So there's enough stuff in there to draw. Um, and I guess we trash into a lighthouse. Now the journeyman. Um, and something here. Okay, yeah. That would have won. Definitely. So nice we got to pull that one around. Um, which I would not exactly have thought um, on after how the start went. I don't know how we managed to stay alive there after missing five for so long. But then again, maybe I just didn't pay enough attention to his turns and they were probably also really bad at the start. So um, too, too much complaining and not enough paying attention. Okay, so this is the last one. And there's Scepter Scholar. Hmm. There's also Way of All. There's Altar, and which we want to get. There's Catapult, but Owl helps with that. We'll start by Owling this Necro. Five, we're gonna get a scholar, I think. There's also acting troop to get villagers when you need. And we want to get an altar. And then some scepters and all that good stuff. Yeah. Let's get the scholar. So do we even bother with catapult? I 
think not. Because Scholar is, and also Owl is like really good defense against it. And here, I think just, we're just gonna alms a silver. Because we're probably gonna play Scholar next turn, and we want to hit 6 to get an altar. Would have liked to have the necro in this hand just so we can play it before scholar but I'm not gonna complain about getting to scholar here. Uh, we do not actually hit five which is a little sad but mm. scepter or bandit camp maybe Let's get a scepter. Mm. Let's get a bandit cam or do we want another scepter? We want some villages once we have the altar. Which we are hopefully gonna get next turn. Well, there's also acting troop. So maybe we prefer that. Maybe another scholar. Hmm. Let's get a scepter here. So we had hovel silver three coppers here, so that means on top is copper, scepter, and um, overgrown estate, so that's exactly six, so we wanna owl the scholar um, to not trigger the shuffle. Oh nice, we get the, the scepter with the altar, that's really good. Scepter here, scepter the altar, um, another scepter, get acting troop. Okay, this is a great draw. Oh nice, he's owling the acting troop. That's cool. Getting lots of acting troops. Um, maybe we're gonna put these in play, right? Ah. Oh. We could all here, we can also just... There's another scepter down there, right? We just play the scholar. Yeah. We need to get this acting troop in play. Let's get another scholar. Or maybe acting troop first. We need villager on. Should left arms there. That was stupid. We need villagers, right? Okay, nice. We get them. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was really stupid. I was confused. Really, 
really confused. Okay. Mm. So acting group and we all the necropolis try to find the altar. Uh, it's on top, let's leave it there. Okay, this is fine. We can all the altar with one of these scepters. This is fine. I haven't been playing this ideally. Um, like scholar scepter is nice to find the altar, but if you're in your um, if you're in your um, buy phase, you can play it anymore. Can put it into play. Feel like he's been playing this better. All these acting troops to find the altar. I've been working good. Um, let's see how many more scepters you can get here. He doesn't have a scholar yet, but of course there's there's uh, all so. Not like you urgently need it. Maybe he's gonna get one here. Because he's a little short on action cards now. Yeah. To do the, the old trick. Alright, so scepter here. All this guy. Scepter. Play this. Or a bandit camp. There's two scholars on top. I think we want to leave them. Just trash again here. Okay, and I see. It's good for us. He didn't find an, an action card. Um, what do we do now? Just single province, I guess, with the while putting more bandit camps and altars, uh, bandit camps and scholars into our deck. Do we want to play the Necro? Yeah, I think we do. We are not gonna get around to it to trash it, are we? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Like, there's Altar and three scepters down there and the bandit camp. Uh, uh, let's put it in play. Not so sure about that one. Or two bandit camps even. Okay. Um, 
and it came here. Scholar. Um, do we want more banded camps? I don't think we do. But what else do we want to gain with this? Hmm. We do have a... let's put another scholar in so that we can find it. Um, so let's all this... Okay, two scholars on top. And one... This can become a duchy. I guess. Oh, is it duchy time? Or isn't it? Maybe just another bandit camp. will also give us the bandit camps, they give us fuel for the altar, right? Uh, I guess we can just start by start putting in duchies now. Scholar deals fairly well with that. Hmm. Playing these coppers to find more scepters, I guess. Getting rid of his necro cat. All right. Um, start out by playing the scholar. Cam. Um, now we can get rid of the necropolis, and we start gaining duchies. Guess we are gonna trash the scholar here because we have all these scepters in hand and we can't get back around to them.
and now we all I think that should be a scholar because we want to owl and buy a province here. Um, There's some bad stuff on top. Uh, do we owl here or scholar? What's in our discard? There's a a duchy and a scholar. So if we uh, we might top deck some real bad stuff, right? So let's just um, owl. Oh no, there was a scholar in there. Didn't know that. Okay. In that case, it was probably better to a scholar there. Because then we've got two scholars in the in the shuffle. Put, well, I mean we could have salvaged it still, right? Uh, so let's see if we can find scholar here. Do we want all the bandit camp? Uh, it's one more card to draw. Would really like to find the altar here. Gonna run out of food um, for trashing. I mean, he, he can gain these spoils too. So, um, yeah, let's all. We want. We really want to find uh, a scholar. Oh. So, we just buy a province. Um, we don't wanna all do we? It's not gonna do anything. Okay, so at least he didn't get to to play his altar here. Well, he can play it, play it now. So. <laughs> that was uh, entirely not true. So if he gets to empty these duchies and buy a province, we're in trouble. Yep. So that 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 was fatal. Mm. We need him to miss province now. And. Don't think that's gonna happen. Let's 
So what are we even gonna do here? Guess we buy a harem. There's bad stuff on top. Um, there's basically no way out for us. Need to do something ridiculous like, well, it's not gonna miss province with that start, so gonna be his game most likely so we needed to do something ridiculous like gain four estates and buy a province and that's not even enough um, he's gonna have to pile out here just so good game all right um, we end with a 3-3. That's an okay result. Um, certainly all right for me. Was um, nice games. Um, and thank you everybody for watching and listening. And see you next time. Goodbye.